As a queer person living in Mississippi, Jay Lee's story has deeply, deeply affected me. The town that I thought was safe and had a general silent acceptance of the queer community, it turns out does not carry through to our justice system, to our law enforcement, and it's been a incredibly brutal lesson that silent acceptance is not acceptance, that we desperately need support from our community right now, and we need our law enforcement officials to find Jay's body. We need our justice system to stand up and enact justice for Jay Lee in order to show that this is a safe community and that we are not second-class citizens. So aside from finding Jay, what would show you that the justice system does care? about this case and about queer people in Mississippi? My immediate desire would be full transparency. We want full transparency as to the search for Jay Lee and how it has gone so oh, far. Oh. We want full, transpar oh. full transparency excuse me, as to the decision that led the DA to release Timothy Harrington and the assurances that they will put in place to further protect our community from violence and as well as a honest reckoning about the possible political impact, political influences that are way, that weighed in on their decision to release a violent killer into our community. Aside from just coming out to protest, is there anything else the community can do? Absolutely. The community can continue to donate and support Jay Lee's family. The community can be a voice, be loud, whether it's through uh, one's own you know, personal connections or through business or through members of the community of standing, whether it's through organizations making a stand. There have been so few public declarations in favor of supporting the queer community. So many people are either so afraid or still full of hate and are not willing to put themselves, their reputation or their safety or whatever their perceived understanding of the threat of being queer in Mississippi, are not willing to put that on the line in order to be allies and stand up for the safety of their families and their children. And it is crucial that we all act to be a part of the future of Oxford. Mississippi is where the fight is happening. We not need all the queer allyship and the queer support that we can possibly have for those of us who still live in the rural spaces. Being queer is not safe.